Right, so in today's video we're taking a look at the OnePlus Warp Charge 50 wireless charger. Now if you remember on my previous videos I did make a video about the OnePlus Warp Charge 30 wireless charger which was the first wireless charger they made. With this new one that's been released with the OnePlus 9 Pro they've actually fixed two maybe three things. So let's go and check it out. I actually got this as a pre-order gift with my OnePlus 9 Pro and you've got the choice between the wireless charger and the earphones well at least us in Europe did um, and I went for the wireless charger because I already have the earphones a few things on the box are this one actually charges at 50 watts so actually for the OnePlus 9 Pro it will charge it from 1% to 100% in 43 minutes so if you think about that wirelessly, that's crazy fast. Some phones don't even charge it that fast with a cable plugged in. So you've got instant charging any way you want. So you can do vertical and horizontal. Air cooling, obviously, with that fast charging, you're going to need some type of cooling because it will heat up the either the phone or the charger if you don't. And then there's a the nighttime mode, which obviously includes the, the fan inside will slow down and uh, I believe it will charge at a slower rate once you're in a certain time frame which you set. Right, let's open it up and see what we get inside. Now I've been, I actually like using wireless charging but only because of the Warp Charge 30 wireless charger it was actually fast. Unlike some other wireless chargers, they take a long time to charge and I just don't feel I don't feel there's any need for me to put it on a wireless charger if it's not going to charge fast. So let's open up the box. Opens up from the bottom. It's a tight fit. So here we have the charger. It's, it's got a bit of weight to it, nothing too heavy. Looks very similar to the original one. You've got your LED there that will tell you if it's charging or not. And the first thing, straight away, that I did not like on the Warp Charge 30 was that the cable, for some reason, they implemented the cable into the actual charging station. So you can't use your own USB-C cable if you want a longer one, which one plus do the one and a half meter ones. You had to use the one that came with the actual charger with the plug socket on the end, which I did not like, but it seems like they've heard the people's cries and uh, they fixed that. What else do we get? A little booklet. And of course we just get the cable, which is, I believe, the, I believe this is just standard one meter cable. And that's it. Nothing else in the box. Nothing else that we need anyway. So another thing they fixed, so... The second thing they've actually fixed is with the old one, I don't think that I could actually charge my phone if I was to set it vertically. It would only be horizontal. So with this one, you can actually charge it either way, vertical or horizontal, because it has two coils in there. Um, obviously, charges super fast compared to the old ones. And another thing that the issue I found on the old one was... Whenever I would use a sandstone case by OnePlus, so manufactured sandstone case by OnePlus, when I put it on the charger, it would drop the charging speed dramatically. And I never found out what the reason for that was. I even looked on forums and other people were suffering the same thing. Whether or not this one has fixed the problem with the new charger and OnePlus 9 Pro, we will have a look once I get myself uh, the sandstone case in. We'll definitely test that. But otherwise... I actually like the design of this charger. I mean, you can't you can't move it like uh, flat or up, but it's at normal position, and it's going to stay that position. And the fact you can put it vertically just helps with um, with if you're watching something, you can put it on the charger and it will charge while you're watching, or if you just want your phone in there horizontally, you can do that as well. I believe it retails for about seventy pounds or seventy euros. On the OnePlus website, you can see at the bottom you've got vents, and then if you look at it sideways, you can see the little fan that's in there as well. You won't be able to see that on the camera, but I can see that 
from looking at it here and then we've got the rubber mount at the bottom to help with vibration and hold it in place so it doesn't slide around so I'm gonna obviously be using this I'm gonna see how it works how well it works test it with the sandstone case once I get one in um, and if you want to find out how this is doing either just leave me a comment in the comments box below or follow me over on Twitter I've got my Twitter and uh, Instagram tag somewhere on the screen and yeah I hope this uh, hope this helped you guys hope you find it interesting um, if you do want to see more content OnePlus content then more content will be coming out with a uh, camera test and all sorts like that so remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of new content once it's released and I will catch you guys on the next video so thank you for watching